Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking more about how we can manage loans in Odoo. So a lot of people ask if there is a way to do it the same way we depreciate assets. And the answer is no, we, Odoo doesn't have a way to mimic that. So how do we do it? Well, what you can do is the following. We, you could create a under the chart of accounts, you can create an account for just to manage your loan. So I'm just going to add that code is random. And then it, it's going to be a liability uh, type of account, right? And I'm going to say it's current for me. And that's just to record the loan and then book the payments against it. So for example, when you receive the amount, you can debit the bank account, right? and you can credit the loan account. Similarly, when it is time to pay the installment, you can debit the loan account and credit the bank account. And when it comes to interest, uh, we usually treat them as a current expense, so you can post them on a dedicated expense account. So you can create one expense account specifically for interest, that's fine. I'm just gonna use the one that Odoo has by default. I'm going to use this one, okay? But you can create another one if you need that. Okay, so now that we have that, just know that the best way to do any loan payment booking is directly from the bank reconciliation tool. So if we go to dashboard and then we go here and we say create, then we are going to be... Um, Getting our bank statement, so I'm gonna do that. That's bank statement, and then I'm gonna say that I actually got my loan here, and it was for a hundred bucks. And then I need to add the ending balance here, and I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna post this, and then I'm gonna reconcile. Okay. Now at this point, what I can do is just say, well, this is a you know, I receive this in my bank account and the other account that I'm going to use to reconcile it with is this one. So the one I created. So I'm going to validate that. And if I look at the journal entries, then I'm going to see that I have a debit for my bank account and a credit for my loan account. So, so far, we're good. And if we were to look at the balance sheet, we will see it here again. So bank and then we have a liability here and it gives me more information right so if i were to access that i can see the journal items for instance so okay now let's imagine then now we're gonna make a payment towards the principal and also we have to pay interest so let's just go ahead and and I'm going to say loan and then I'm going to say interest and I'm going to say I'm paying 10 bucks and the interest is 0 0.10 cents okay and I need to make this minus because the money is coming out from my bank account and then what I have left is this. Perfect. And now I'm going to post it and I'm going to reconcile. And again, Odoo is going to ask me, okay, which account? So I'm going to say expenses and I'm going to validate it. And sometimes if you have a lot of transactions already, you're going to see a lot of tabs. Just make sure, make sure you're selecting manual operations. And then here, we're going to look for the loan, and then that's great, and I'm going to validate that. And so if I look at journal entries, then we can see them here. So we have the, the actual loan, the down payment, or the principal payment that I did. And then, um, so you can see here, crediting the bank account, and then debiting the liability. And then I have one for expenses here. So I have my bank and then I have expenses. If we were to look at 
the balance sheet, uh, we're going to see bank here has this much, of course, and then the loan is um, here has been reduced by 10, but I do have some expenses. And because it's a current liability that I set up, then you're going to see it here under expenses uh, for this year. Okay, so that's one way to manage uh, loans in LDR.